nominees for Best Animated Short prove that while you may end up working in animation, your inspiration can come from all sorts of places. Adrienne Marigot's very first favorite film was Hedgehog in the Fog, and Amory Oviz's favorite line, are you talking to me from Taxi Driver? Wait, did I do that right? Are you talking to me? Do I sound like him? Uh, fueled the movie love that inspired them to make Genius Loki. Yes People's Arnar Gunnarsson and Gisli Dare Halderson's love affair with animation began with Star Wars. The force is very strong with those two. Eric O oh spent hours and hours watching films by legendary animation director Miyazaki Hayao. Those hours inspired him to create the film Opera. Madeline Sharafian is a huge fan of Wes Anderson films, and her partner, Michael Cabaret, is a huge fan of a large Coke and a small popcorn. Both helped to fuel them to create their film, Burrow. Michael Gauvier's favorite film at 12 years old was Citizen Kane. Really? 12 years old? That's, that's very intense to watch Citizen Kane. <laughs> but Will McCormick say your film is Ordinary People, also a very intense film. Will also enjoys the unique combination of pouring milk duds into his small popcorn, which sounds awesome. Sort of like his favorite film, Ordinary People. It's sort of salty and messy and definitely delicious. <laughs> they both work together to give us, if anything happens, I love you. So, here it is. The Oscar goes to... The best animated short film. If anything happens, I love you. Will McCormick and Michael Govier. Lemons, thank you for your tenacity and passion. Gary Gilbert and Gilbert Films for believing in us. Robin Klein and Jeremy Ross, our guardian angels. Lindsay Marcus, your sublime music. Peter Morgan, Jerry Tremala, Sidney Holland, Peter Ettinger, Michael Badcock, Julia Rodriguez, and Michelle Yeoh. We were so lucky to work Dad, for telling me I could do anything I believed in. I bought it. My wife, Emily Arlick, and our baby boy, Sonny McCormick, you brought me more joy than I knew was possible. We dedicate this film to all those who've lost love ones to gun violence. We deserve better than to live in a country where more than 100 people die by gun violence every single day. We deserve better. We must do better. We will do better. Thank you. Thank you.